안녕하세요. 제 이름은 남입니다. Hi, it's Nami. My hair. I have phoenix hair. It's super cool. It goes from like this pale yellow all the way down to this fiery red. And I really, really like how it turned out. But of course, whenever I'm doing my roots, especially when they're overgrown, um, it is quite a bit of a struggle. So let's just get straight into the video. Welcome back to Nami's Ratchet Salon. It's been quite a hot minute since I bleached my roots. I think it's been over a complete... How long has it been? I think it's been over two months. <laughs> I think it's been past eight weeks since I did my roots, so... Let's hope to bleach these overgrown babies. Well, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. 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 I don't To be honest, I was really scared to do my roots, which is why it took me two months to actually <laughs> finally decide to do them. Because when I do my roots, my body becomes overcompensated. Most of my blood and immune system gets sent to my scalp, so the rest of my body really suffers. And I experience like a lot of pain and infection in like my gut area and my digestive system. Now I'm going to tie my twist ties into my hair. <sighs> this is the part I always dread. Make sure if you do pre-tie your sections that your twist ties are coated in plastic. If you have any metal that might come in contact with your bleach, it might not end well, so beware. I'm going to go in sections of about an inch. Make sure it's nice and straight. I missed a strand here. I'm going to tie this off. I forgot, I forgot how exhausting this is. And I didn't eat properly for like 18 hours. I only ate like a third of a meal. Will I get through this? <laughs> Will I survive? That is the question. Okay, let me change into like a bleach safe shirt. Hooray for medical gloves. These are the same pair I've been using for a while now. They've been surviving. Express nine level lift bleach from Braun Brilliance. I hate this packaging to be honest. I really hate it. It's spilling on my floor. I think Nami's getting irritable. When I'm tired, I'm gonna bleach first off my scalp, so I'm using 40 developer, 40 volume developer. Mind you, my hair is quite dark, like quite, quite dark, and so Asian hair is the thickest, meaning the it's the widest in diameter, which means it holds a lot of melanin, and because of that melanin, it takes a while and a lot of bleach to lighten the hair. But you can do this with a lower volume, but with a longer period of time. However, I've tried that and I had to bleach my hair eight times, my roots, with 20 volume because it wasn't bleaching. Like literally, my hair would not lighten past a level six. For me, the most effective way that I've been bleaching my hair, especially with Asian hair, is to actually bleach with 40 volume. And it's much less damaging for me to go in and do a blast 
of lightning in one hour rather than to go in multiple times like anywhere between three to eight times of bleaching with a lower volume to get a light color gotta have my old plex step one this is going to help rebond broken bonds during the bleaching process just gonna throw in a 16th of an ounce in there tiniest bit i'm almost out of this i need to buy me some more I'm gonna start from the back because usually I start from the front, but I think the back takes longer to process because there's more heat at the top of my head. So let's just start from the back so that it has time to catch up to the rest of the hair. I'm kind of worried. I'll be fine. Here it goes. Bleach my undercut. I'm gonna stay off my scalp for now. I forgot to do between my quad quadrants. Oh my gosh, I can't see. I'm going through like a mix of emotions right now. I'm like slightly scared, but I'm slightly excited. For this phoenix hair, I'm gonna have phoenix hair soon. And this time I'm gonna go straight into the scalp too and really making sure to get this area. I'm gonna catch all of my baby hairs. Do not want to miss those. I'm gonna catch my sideburns too. My scalp is itchy, I wanna scratch it. Oh my gosh, this is a mess. This is the difficulty with twist ties, is you can't really see when you're doing your quadrants, queen lines. Hooray! I'm tired. It's 3 a.m. It's been an hour and a half since I started tying my twist ties. I'm gonna leave this in my hair for an hour, which is what I've been doing. I've been checking here and there how the color's been processing, but oh my goodness, it looks so good! Oh my gosh, can you see? It looks so yellow. It might look white to you. Let me move. There you go. Now it looks yellow. It's looking so good. Oh my gosh, this is this looks so good. And it's only one and a half like bleach process just in one go every time I do this I'm like wow but honestly you have to be careful of the strength of the developer you're using depending on the strength of your hair I would definitely try with lower volumes first if you are going to bleach at home work your way up to see what is good if you do have Asian hair I would recommend starting off with a 30 volume only not a 40 volume straight away but this is the technique that's been working for me every time I do it I'm so scared that my hair's gonna fall off all my hair will like fly off and then I'll have to buzz my head but every time I do it I'm like wow it's living still I'll just wait 
five to ten more minutes just for those little pieces that need to further process the rest of the bleach will dry out and that means it'll stop processing since bleach needs to be wet to be activated oh my gosh are my brows gonna be bleached <laughs> just half of this one oh my gosh my brow got bleached yo yo it might be safe <laughs> I wouldn't mind bleaching my brows. Do you, should we try that? Let me know if you think that's a good idea. Hello. Wow! Wow, Nami, good job! Yo, I don't think there's any banding. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay, let's just slather on the Olaplex too. I've got myself this big tub of it because this is like a miracle worker my hair right now feels like it feels like rough seaweed so let's soften the seaweed four pumps oh not bad there's a bit of banding right there but you know not bad not bad that's actually very acceptable Oh my gosh, I feel like Queen Elsa. I'm running this through the lengths of my hair too because the bleach water ran down my hair as I was rinsing my roots out and that often also does a, a bit of a number on the rest of the hair too. So I'm just gonna give my whole head of hair a nice mask. Oh, my eyeliner. Okay, time to sit like this for as long as I can. <laughs> Yo, yo, man, yo, it looks good. I look like an ice cream sundae. I always thought I looked weird blonde, but it looks good, yo. I can already see it coming. Phoenix hair. I've had this Loplex in my hair for like half an hour or an hour. I honestly don't know but because my head has been drenched in olaplex i'm like super cold right now like like i i have goosebumps i'm gonna hop in the shower wash this out and then we're gonna throw our color in. i have the rest of my vibrant orange daily conditioner from overtop and also my extreme red so the types of vibrancies that they have in the overtone line is pastel, vibrant, and extreme. I normally don't need to wear gloves for the pastel lines because I find that it doesn't really stain as much. But if the vibrancy is vibrant or extreme, like my red, I have a feeling that it will have an effect. So I'm just gonna kind of ombrify it. Oh my gosh, it already looks cool i'm being very very light-handed so that it gets dispersed as smoothly as possible i guess feel to it like not too neat kind of chalky look especially because like feathers aren't perfectly shaded but I do want it to look somewhat coherent <laughs> whoa cool it's almost like a dip dye ombre I guess I'll see you when it's dry by the way I'm surprised I didn't lose that much hair Considering it's been two months since I bleached my roots, not bad. Good morning. Mm. What time is it right now? Six. Six. I'm a phoenix. Mm. 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 I have phoenix hair, girl. I have like a dragon. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my hair! <laughs> I'm a 
Baba. Say Ah Baba, please. Look at my hair. Red. Good job. Orange. Orange. Good job. And. And. One more. One more color, Zeke. What is the color on the top? Green. Green? Welcome back with dry hair. Oh my gosh, I actually really love it. It's like a nice fade. And I like how gradual it is. Like right at my root, it's quite yellow, but as you go down, it gets darker and darker of orange. And then darker and darker of red. And if I flip my hair like this, I look like a flame. I did want to let you know that this is actually going to be the last bleaching video for a while. Um, I mentioned in the beginning of this video like some of the problems that I have health-wise um, whenever I do bleach my roots. And that's not to do with like my actual hair or my actual scalp, but it's to do with the rest of my body and my immune system. So due to some health reasons, right now I won't be able to bleach my roots for quite some time. I'm thinking maybe like a year. And to be honest, that was really kind of, I felt bad about it because like, I really like doing my roots, even though it's so exhausting every time I do it. I like how it looks every time I do do my roots and it allows me to, you know, keep the color going and it allows me to make these videos for you. But I think health does come first in terms of, you know, the rest of my body. So I will be sticking to, you know, the vegan semi-permanent colors and hair dyes. Um, moving forward, but I won't be able to do any like on scalp bleaching Maybe if my roots grow out long enough that I could actually bleach my roots without touching my scalp I could try that but for the time being I did want to tell you that this is gonna be our last bleaching hair video for um, a while, but thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon Bye